doesn't kill you, make you stronger. Mugre que no mata engorda. With the horse. Uh, is it really a Latin American scene if there's not a horse involved? We have a horse obsession. People spend years of their life perfect in grammar and advanced vocabulary only to hear this when they land in a Latin American country. Y voló. Y me hizo volar. Y yo volé de él. Pero volé de él, pero acá volar volá. You guys know I'm always going on about how slang and idioms are crucial when you're learning a new language. But recently, I realized that I wasn't actually following that advice myself. As a native speaker from Argentina, sometimes I struggle to understand phrases or sayings from other Latin American countries. And honestly, that's just because Spanish speakers have some of the weirdest, most random sayings in the world. So, my name is Valentina, I'm your local Argentinian Spanish tutor, and today I'm gonna try to understand and explain back to you some of the weirdest sayings in the Spanish language, and we're gonna decide which country has the most bizarre ones. First one. ¿Cómo le dan a la sin hueso? Have you heard this one before? No. This is the kind of saying that you have to be probably over 45 to actually use this saying. But for some reason, I told a friend of mine this the other day. She was an American girl and I realized that I couldn't explain what it meant. So I'm gonna do my best and try. First of all, what do you think it means? Uh, I think it doesn't mean something good. <laughs> I never heard of it. Literally, it's very difficult to translate, but I'm gonna give you the general meaning of this. The meaning of this saying is, oh my guys, oh, oh my guys, oh my god, you guys talk so much, or you've been talking for so long. This was something you'd said to your grandma or to your friend or to your mom who's been on the phone with their friend for like three hours and who's gonna pay the bill after, you know? ¿Cómo le dan a la sin hueso? Sin hueso means boneless or without bones. So what is something in your body that doesn't have any bones? The tongue. Yeah! <laughs> exactly, la lengua. The tongue doesn't have any bones. And basically, como le da la sin hueso is you've been moving your tongue or you've been using your tongue to talk for too long. Now there are a million ways you can say this, and this is what they came up with. So that's one for Argentina. This next one is from Venezuela. Así que muy, me vas a ayudar, okay? Cachicamo diciéndole a Morrocoy. Can we say that on YouTube? Conchudo. Yeah. Can you? Yes, because conchudo doesn't mean anything but in the rest of the world, only here in Argentina. In Argentina, conchudo means something very here. You know, uh, we make a bad word out of every word. Cachicamo diciéndole a morroco y conchudo. I have no idea what this means. Please. What? Let's break it down. Cachicamo. What is cachicamo? Cachicamo is this animal, which I would call a uh, tatu carreta, but you wouldn't. Tatu carreta? Armadillo. Armadillo. It's an armadillo, guys. I like the fact that the, the animal, it's called armadillo, and you guys in English say armadillo. And for some reason in Venezuela, they call it cachicamo, and we call it tatu carreta. It's like a tattoo and a carreta. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, so the, the saying goes, cachicamo, which we've established that is an armadillo, Diciéndole a morrocoy, second part, saying to what is morrocoy? Morrocoy is a morrocoy. A tortoise. A tortoise? A tortoise what? No, the, the turtle. turtle. For, can we? Again, again, exactly. Not that it mattered to the saying, but basically what we establish is that the saying goes: an armadillo saying to a tortoise that he or she or they 
are shelled. Yes. Shell, conjugal shelled. That yeah. they have a shell. Yes. Say, say. We understand ourselves. Say it quickly, as you would to anyone. Yeah, I know. That's a tongue twister, and even yeah, I. We, we, we in Venezuela like tongue twisters. How how to say it again? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's one for Venezuela. I truly don't know which what this means. This is a Colombian one. If there are any Colombians looking, uh, please confirm. This is mure que no mata engorda. Tell me what you're thinking. Yeah, it's like what doesn't kill you make you stronger. No. No. <laughs> what yes. doesn't kill you make you stronger. But mure que no mata engorda. Mugre que no mata engorda, from my research, it's something that you say when you want to pick up something from the floor and eat it. Like if you were eating and you dropped a chip or whatever and you pick it up, you say mugre que no mata engorda. Mugre means dirt. So the dirt that doesn't kill you makes you fat. I like that one. That's pretty, that's pretty straightforward. It's just pretty disgusting as well. Maybe don't eat what fell to the ground especially during a pandemic. Five Thank you. <laughs> it's like the five second rule. Yeah, yeah. But instead of, instead of saying a five second rule, we say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. No? <laughs> okay, so that's uno para Colombia. Nice. I like this one. This is a Mexican one. Okay, are you ready? No quieras matar pulgas a balazos. Okay, let's break this down. Don't try to kill fleas with a gun or through gunshots, you know? Or don't overcomplicate it, like just solve it. Like this is a really small pro like these are really small fleas. And you can hurt yourself, maybe don't shoot them. Don't shoot the fleas. Oh, here we have another one that's Argentinian. I think, I think it's Argentinian, I don't know. I always think things are Argentinian and then I find out they're actually not because we're very narcissistic people. A caballo regalado no se le miran los dientes. Do you think it's cool? Yeah. It's not global. It's Argentinian. What no, is it's not Argentinian. It is. We in Venezuela say it a lot. I've heard from other countries, a caballo regalado no se le miran los colmillos. No los dientes. I've seen no, that. Los dientes. Okay, so let's say this is a Latin American one. Yeah. A caballo regalado, so to a gifted horse or a horse that was gifted to you, you shouldn't look at their teeth. You shouldn't look at the teeth of the horse that was gifted to you. That could, that's so poetic. Can we insert some music here? And some like very dramatic zoom to my face? And some lights, maybe? To a horse that was gifted to you, you shouldn't look at his teeth. <laughs> and that basically means uh, if you're receiving something for free or you receive a gift, you shouldn't be too picky about it. Or don't look for flaws. Again, we have a theme with the animals. We just keep bringing up animals. Yeah, those, those sayings are, some, some of them are very old. They are. So it's in a time when a gifted horse was something. <laughs> people <Now it's> actually, <laughs> this saying is actually from a time where people gifted each other horses. Or animals, true. Which actually is like 20 years ago. <laughs> I have another Colombian one, which I understand what it means because I looked it up, but I don't understand what it means at the same time, or I don't understand why it means that. So let's see if you know it. This is a very sad saying, and it says, colgar los guayos. This is not a saying, this is an expression. Colgar los guayos, los guayos, los guayos. Guayos, guayos. Bueno, acá también existe. Colgar los botines, pero colgar los guantes. Pero acá, I don't know. I I feel like for what I've looked at in Colombia, colgar los guayos means to die. Yeah. Significa morir. Yeah, okay, so guayos means shoes, and colgar los guayos, colgar means to hang. So to hang the shoes. Uh, this is an expression that has a lot of variations in different Latin American countries. So, for example, in Venezuela, you guys say colgar, colgar los guantes. Colgar los guantes. Sí, los guantes. En Argentina decimos 
colgar los botines, which means to hang the, the football shoes, I feel like. It, it's the same in Colombia, I think. The guayos, I think the, the, it's the a football the, shoes. The means Basically means either to retire or to die or to, yeah. It could be anything. Could like be anything, really, to give up. Dinner. There's another one from Venezuela. This is... ¿Cómo sabes que la guiara es lejos? Que la... And then, that's how you know that speaking Spanish as a native speaker is just as difficult. <laughs> ¿Cómo sabes que la guaira? Guaira. How do you know that the guaira, whatever that is, is far away? Okay, entonces, ¿cómo sabes que la guaira es lejos? Means like, how do you know that a thing is a certain way, right? Yeah. Like, how do you know that? How do you know that for sure? How do you know that for certain? When you want to expose someone and something that they did, yeah, you know, exactly. ¿y vos cómo sabes? And how do you exactly. know? Exactly, how do you know? And how do you know? ¿Cómo how sabes que la guaira es lejos? Ah, I like that one. We have one from Puerto Rico, which I do not understand. But I'm going to do my best. Nunca es tarde si la dicha es buena. Let's do this. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess with the horse. Uh, is it really a Latin American scene if there's not a horse involved? We have a horse obsession. Nunca es tarde si la dicha es buena. Es un refrán que indica que la aventura es siempre bien recibida. Yeah, I'm not even understanding the, exp the explanation. Que nunca es tarde para llevar a cabo algo útil y beneficioso. Literally, it means it's never late if the joy is there. Basically, it's never too late to do something that will bring you joy. Basically, that's a really nice saying. Nice, Puerto Rico. The last one we have. I also want to believe this is an Argentinian saying, but I'm. Um, I think it's more of a, a Latin American one in general, or at least there's a version of it in every country. Carne de burro no es transparente. You know this one? It's like you're in the middle. You're uh, you know, I'm watching TV and you're standing right between me and the TV. I'm gonna be yelling at you. Carne de burro no es transparente, which is a super aggressive thing. And it's really the most random because you could have chosen literally anything, but you chose a donkey. At least it's not a horse. <laughs> okay, so carne de burro means, in this sense, the body of a donkey is not transparent or trans translucent. It's not clear. It's like saying someone, you're, you're not transparent, get out of my view. Yeah, like I, it's like saying to someone, I can't see through you, so move away. Especially when they're standing between you and either someone else in the conversation or you and the TV. It's said very aggressive. We basically go around calling people a donkey. I have flashbacks from being like 10 years old and my mom saying, carne de burro no es transparente. Or in school. So the conclusion that we've arrived to is that Spanish sayings involve a hell of a lot of animals, especially horses. They're very random. When people say them really fast, we can't even understand each other. Um, and yeah, so basically you can practice grammar all you want. You can expand your vocabulary as much as you want. But the moment you're having a conversation with a native Spanish speaker, you have to be ready to understand sayings, idioms, slang, and try to find the hidden meaning behind every single thing that we say. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment which saying was your favorite and if you think there is something that we miss or a saying that you know from a friend or from your family that you think is worth to be included in the next video. If you want to see more Spanish content like this one, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you all in el próximo video. Nos vemos. Mwah.